For 15 years, LaDamian Tomlinson owned the NCAA single game rushing record, 406 yards. Then Wisconsin's Melvin Gordon had 408 yards last week against Nebraska. That record will last a while, right? We'll meet Oklahoma freshman Samaj P. Ryan. He went for 427 yards on 34 carries, he had five touchdowns, in Oklahoma's win over Kansas. By the way, the last two weeks for him, 59 carries, 640 yards, and eight touchdowns. All of this only leads to this question. Who wants to break the unassailable record this week? It feels like the Frank Beamer era at Virginia Tech might finally be coming to a close. Virginia Tech needs to beat Virginia just to get to a bowl game. But would even that be enough? In his 28th season, Beamer is Virginia Tech football. But after eight straight seasons winning at least 10 games, the Hokies have only won 20 games the last three seasons. Beamer got a two-year contract extension back in August that takes him through the 2018 season. But he's 68. The Hokies feel like they're sliding the wrong direction. At this point, it's unclear if he'll be back to coach in 2015. A couple weeks ago, Nebraska was sailing along. Then came Melvin Gordon and Wisconsin, followed on Saturday by Minnesota. The Gophers' victory in Lincoln is another huge step in Jerry Kill's building program for the Gophers. But the Huskers' Big Ten title hopes are completely finished. And with another disappointing season now inevitable, it's very possible, maybe even probable, that Bo Pelini's tenure will end sometime very soon as well. Earlier this season, Arkansas kept coming oh so close and couldn't quite get there. And after 17 consecutive SEC losses, you began to wonder if they ever would. So how does a two-game winning streak for Brett Bielema and the Razorbacks sound? A week after shutting out LSU 17-0, the Hogs shut out Ole Miss 30-0. Suddenly, Arkansas is bowl eligible. With a visit to Missouri coming up this week, the Hogs are the team that no one wants to play right now. Six one-loss teams and unbeaten Florida State have the inside track to the college football playoff. But if you're looking for a potential two-loss entry, try UCLA. The Bruins were left for dead by most of us earlier in the season, but the selection committee has liked them for a while now, if we're to judge by the rankings. And after beating USC, they're only one win away from playing in the Pac-12 championship against Oregon. Beat the Ducks and they will have essentially erased one of their two losses while gaining a win over the team that's currently ranked number two by the committee. Do all of that, and UCLA would have a very strong case for inclusion in the playoff. 